this is Joanna at Year Long Life and today I wanted to do a plan with me. So I'm going to set up for November and show you my process. Um, so I use a Hobonichi planner and kind of I use a modified version of bullet journal system to help me set up for the months and so on. So um, Kind of here, um, I use my monthly index page as a way to keep track of habits and also as an index for the pages. So for example, I have a couple of recipes listed here. Here I have a tracker for Haters Back Off, which is a TV show I'm watching on Netflix. So I can turn to the 14th of October and say, okay, that's where my tracker is. Um, so yeah, that's how you can use this. Now I'm gonna um, try and use this a bit more as an index next month. Um, so that's something for me to work on. And really, I'm kind of looking through my habits every month. My habits kind of change, and I'm kind of looking for anything that I really need to focus on um, and things that um, are starting to become a bit spotty. So on this page, you can see I kind of started off well with all of my habits. I'll show you what I'm tracking. Um, so I track um, my teeth, of course, so that went really, really well. I had a couple of days where I just didn't track anything. I, I, I'm sure I did brush my teeth and, and to do some other things here. But anyway, um, yeah, so these are the things I track. And I kind of use a digital digital apps to help me keep track of habits um, that, that I can't kind of keep track of here. Oh, guys, you can see my red wrist. This is from a hairband around my wrist. Um, okay, so um, I track my planning. I track my cycles using Clue. Um, I use my fitness pal, but I haven't really used it very much this this month, so I'm not going to stick with it. I'm not going to use it again next month. That's totally fine. Um, my fab the fabulous I use that to track um, habits like um, exercise, and it's just a fantastic app. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I also keep track of when I post to Instagram. And I also track my finances. It's a bit spotty, so I want to do it a little more frequently next month, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, obviously, my teeth are great, so that's all cool. So I'm going to copy most of those over onto the next one. I'm going to see next time if I can just use a black pen. Um, it's kind of a hassle <laughs> coming back and choosing the different colours and getting them ready to go back over this. So that's that. Um, if I go on ahead to my monthly calendar. Um, I've already got my obligations written out. I put a couple of extra things in here, um, kind of repeat um, the things that I need to do. I'm going to also try and write in um, some uh, new things that I want to do. So for example, I've started posting to YouTube now, so I want to create an a editorial calendar for that, um, probably use a different colour. And then... Um, I think that's all that I want to do extra with this. I want to leave the space just so that I can also write in any other appointments or obligations that come up through the month. I'm not sure I'm going to keep a to-do list here. I might use each section now of the week, as I don't have a weekly diary, to plan out my top three tasks at the side here um, for the week. So things that must happen on certain days. I'm going to think about that some more. And on my coming up page, let me just take that off. My coming up page, let me turn to the end of the month. Um, oh my gosh, we're like most of the way through the book now, which is really cool. Um, I think coming up, last time I did a calendar wheel. I'm not going to do it this time. I think I'm going to track my stats for social media, so my Instagram and YouTube just for fun. And then do a little review about what worked, what didn't work. Um, how I took care of myself and what I want to try next month. And I've used this page also before to track key projects that I'm going to be working on, so I might do that as well. So guys, I'm going to put you into fast forward now as I um, plan in my Hobonichi setup for November. And guys, don't forget, if you have any questions or any comments, um, please, please leave them in the comments below. I will definitely get back to you about that. And yeah, okay, here we go.